Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 8. And this is going to be my trailer breakdown for episode 13 for this season. Lucky number 13, otherwise entitled Death Falls. But of course, before we get into anything else, let's actually watch this trailer. Eddie? No, because he died just like you're going to die too. We need to find Deathstorm. It's messing with you. This is another manipulation. Why would you say this about me? I'm your mom. No, you're not. There's something coming. My beautiful boy. There's nothing you can do to stop it. So last episode was, of course, the episode entitled Death Rises, where we saw Deathstorm rise, do a lot of different things. This episode's called Death Falls, so make your theories based off those two titles there. But last episode, yeah, we saw the rise of Deathstorm. He killed a good amount of people in the episode. I think I think by the end of it, it was probably like 15 that we knew about because I think we saw like five or six of the deaths happen on screen. And then we heard about like nine or 10, um, just you just them mentioning them and us seeing like the pictures of the people uh, like on like a board or anything like that. So killed a good amount of people in the episode. But we learned that he's, you know, you know, killing these people that are, you know, suffering from grief to build up power but it's actually sort of pa to pass it on to Caitlin, who he wants to make his bride. He was hunting Caitlin throughout the episode or targeting her and putting fire on her, but she wasn't dying. We we're like, what the hell's happening here? But it's because he's not trying to hurt her. He's trying to empower her, I guess, to make her immortal, because that's what it seems like. Her aging has slowed down. You know, she's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So it's like, yeah, to make her like a immortal or like eternal, I guess, just like he would be. So I don't know if, that's, if that means he's like, like at the end of it, she would become like this female death storm and look like him, or she would just be a mortal or whatever it might be. I'm not too sure exactly what the end goal would be. Maybe we see it throughout this episode. I'm not too sure. But of course, right at the end of the episode, we see that Eddie returns to Iris and just leaves us wondering what the hell's happening there. And of course, we are going to discuss that in this video. But of course, before we get into the actual breakdown of the trailer, we will quickly read out the synopsis or description for the episode which doesn't give us any more context for this episode. It pretty much just goes hand in hand with the trailer. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts, opinions, theories, predictions. I'm always curious to read what you guys are thinking, especially based off this episode, because last episode was a bit of like a, you know, slow at times, but really fast paced, like a bit of a mix. This time, this episode seems like it's going to be balls to the wall and a big moment. I think it's going to be a big episode for this storyline, but just the show as a whole. So I'm very curious to see what you guys think and just, you know, your theories going into it. But of course, alongside that, throughout the video, let me know. In the... But of course, alongside that, also, if you enjoy the video and you're looking forward to this episode, want to show your support, want to drop a like on the video to do all that. Grief. Team Flash is under attack and each must fight to save not only themselves, but each other. So yeah, that is a short synopsis, but also it seems to sum up from, you know, everything that we're seeing from the trailer pretty well. And also this uh, synopsis, like they usually are, was released about two weeks ago. They usually try and contain spoilers within them. And especially they're not going to go, Deathstorm, still trying to make Caitlyn his bride, blah, 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 because it would have spoiled the reveal from last episode and it wouldn't have mentioned Eddie or anything like that. So it's short, sweet, to the point, works for the episode, but doesn't give any spoilers away at the exact same time. Doesn't even mention Deathstorm in the actual uh, synopsis. Now, this episode looks like it is going to be similar to that last temptation of Barry Allen two-parter, uh, the one from season six, just before Crisis, where we had blood work, you know, pretty much trying to break Barry down, so, you know, so that he could potentially take over him or infect him and become a version of the negative flash. I think they ended up calling it dark flash, but it was negative flash from the comics. But instead of just Barry in this episode, it's every member of team flash. But I think we could see each member go through something similar to what Barry went through in those episodes, even Barry again. So sucked in Barry, you get to deal with it twice, but also we will see them like try to snap each other out of what's going on potentially if they are near each other. Now there is no direct evidence of that in the trailer at all. It's more just the individuals of Team Flash trying to snap themselves out. That's what we see. But the synopsis does say they try to save each other along with themselves. So we might get an instance where Barry runs into Chester or Chester runs into Allegra or Barry runs into Cecile or something along those lines and they have to try and snap, the, snap each other out. That's just an example. But in regards to the trailer, we do start off with seeing the carry-on from the end of last episode, or the cliffhanger, with the return of Rick Cosnett as Eddie Thorne, 
well, as fake Eddie Thorne. I don't know. that By the looks of it, that's what it is, but it could be very misleading. Now we have Iris saying Eddie, only for Eddie to say no, because he died just like you are going to die. And I think some of you might have picked up from this in the, or picked up on this from the trailer, but that audio is so heavily edit, edited together, it's not even funny. It's so cut up and chopped together. It's like, it could have been like seven different people saying the words and I would have believed you. Now that doesn't mean that he doesn't say something along those lines in the episode or in this scene, but they are words that are different points that are edited, edited together, sorry, to say all of that and make it sound like that. Now, of course, we are all led to believe that this is another case of Deathstorm making someone else appear to a person through grief, regardless of the amount left within someone. As Deathstorm, uh, Deathstorm did say to Barry last episode when he did possess the seal, he can really target and thrive off even the tiniest slither of grief that's left over within someone. So this could be what we are seeing with Iris and Eddie. You think, you know, Iris has moved on. I mean, she's married to Barry now and everything like that. But there's still that tiny little bit of grief over Eddie and that's what Deathstorm is targeting. Now, the weird thing around Eddie apparently just being a construct of Deathstorm is that when it was announced that he was coming back to the show after that episode of Six Appearance, we had quotes and information given out by Eric Wallace himself, as well as Deadline, that suggests that his return would be something different. So this is what Eric Wallace said. Fortunately, we've been able to do so now in season eight, and Rick has been fantastic in bringing an exciting new side to his portrayal of Eddie Thorne that honors the character's past, but also takes it somewhere unexpected. And this is what Deadline had to say. Wallace would not share further details, but I hear that Cosnet's Eddie embodies different characters in his return. Cosnet potentially could do more episodes in season nine if it's picked up as expected with star Grant Gustin finalizing a new deal last month. And of course, we know it got picked up for season nine about a month ago. This article's from like February, I think. So these two pieces of information there do make you double guess what is going on with Eddie. I mean, the Eric Wallace quote could line up with what we are seeing on the show, sort of, but the deadline thing makes you like definitely double guess. The only thing I can think of maybe is that the source the deadline got their information from was referring to Ronnie rather than Eddie because Deathstorm, who formed from Ronnie and is played by the same actor who played Ronnie, is embodying different characters via Deathstorm's powers though it is the actors of those original characters returning to play them. So maybe that's what's going on. It is hard to tell to be like 100% sure. However, I am excited to see Rick Cosnett back. And as the original article said for his return after that episode six guest role earlier this season, he is back for multiple episodes. Now, whether that means episodes 13 and 14 or other episodes later this season, that is unknown. And for us to wait and find out, you know, but based on what we were told, this isn't the only episode he is in after this week. There's at least one more. But I must include this. I do have a theory on what might be going on with Eddie that connects to Deathstorm in a way, but it isn't Deathstorm constructing Eddie as a grief weapon like we've seen previously with other characters. But, and this is sort of like dangling the carrot in front of you, but not giving it to you. I want to do a video on that on its own. So keep your eyes out for that over the next few days. And I think a lot of you will enjoy it because I think it's an interesting theory. It could be completely wrong, but I think it's a good theory at the same time that I want to dive into. So keep your eyes out for that. Now, throughout the rest of the trailer, we are getting like haunted house vibes within Star Labs, which sort of reminds me of, uh, was it episode nine? I think it was like the, was it episode nine? Or, I think it was nine um, when like Chester was the one being targeted. So it's sort of similar to that, but instead of just Chester, it's everyone. So we have Allegra looking around corners, especially going you know, or suspiciously going like, oh, what's going on here? Obviously, last episode, we had a dead cousin reappear. I don't know if that's going to happen again or whether because Allegra was already targeted, she's not in danger. But then again, we also see Chester looking a bit worried. So maybe it's free reign and anyone can be attacked regardless of whether you're already attacked by this grief feeding death storm thing. Now, we do have Caitlin with her back turned approached by Ronnie of all people, like not death storm, but Ronnie. But yeah, Caitlin's turned around like Ronnie was before he became death storm. So will this be like a jump scare sort of thing with Caitlyn transforming? Or maybe this is Frost pretending to be Caitlyn. I mean, that would be pretty funny. Like we know Frost is going to be used to try and combat and contain Deathstorm. This episode is called Death Falls. So you think this might be the episode where they finally are able to maybe not fully defeat De Deathstorm, but maybe get along, you know, get close to it. I think they will defeat him in this episode, but it'll be at a great cost. 
So maybe that could be a way to lure in Deathstorm. Though I don't know why he would be Ronnie here. Like, why is he specifically Ronnie? Maybe if he gets to full power, he can just turn back into Ronnie if he wants. I'm not too sure. There is probably a good reason for it. I just can't think of one. Um, but yeah, we see him as Ronnie here for whatever reason that might be. Now we do have Barry in the time vault with his mother. No, it's not the speed falls by the looks of it, but it actually his mother, like through grief, I guess. And we see him thinking back to his father's death at the hands of Zoom. And it's almost like Deathstorm is trying to take that slither of grief within our Team Flash members and stretch it out as far as he possibly can by opening those old wounds and maybe the, maybe having them relive those moments. I mean, uh, I, I was very surprised when we saw like the th throwback to, you know, Henry dying at the hands of all the claws or the phasing hand of Zoom. Um, I don't think we'll see Henry in this episode. We might, but I think we might just do it through Nora. But it looks like Barry's going to have a hard time. As I said, Barry already went through this in that last temptation of Barry Allen two-part and now he has to go through it again and probably even worse. But the big question is, Frost, sacrifice, question mark. That's the best way to put it. Frost, sacrifice, question mark. This has to be said, TV line confirmed that a Team Flash member does die in this episode. Someone on Team Flash, you know, dies in this episode, <laughs> put it bluntly, which then leads into the following episode, Funeral for a Friend, where once again, I think that even the synopsis for that episode talked about like someone on Team Flash dying. Now, the two options that the show is making obvious, they're pretty much going, here are the two options, pick between them, are Caitlin and Frost both played by Daniel Panab uh, Panabaker. Now, we know that Daniel Panabaker filmed until the end of the season. At least we're led to believe that. But she was also... Yeah, I think... When she, well, she directed, I think, episode 15 or 16 for this season. But it just, like, there was no reason for her to stick around. And, like, she was, I think, was, like, on other people's Instagrams and stuff, I'm pretty sure. So if she does leave after this episode, and maybe both Caitlin and Frost die, or maybe they merge and die together or something like that, they, she did a very good job, you know, charading that she was still in Vancouver and everything like that, even after the episode she filmed in episode 15 or 16, I think it is. But she was still posting and making it seem that she was still in Vancouver, uh, Vancouver filming until the end of the season, which only wrapped, I think, yesterday or the day before that. So I'm going to assume just one of her characters is biting the dust. And if I had to pick, it would be Frost, just due to everything. I think if you're going to keep one of Caitlin or Frost alive, you probably pick Caitlyn just because she's an OG Team Flash member. But I I know it's, I think it's still a flip of the coin at the same time. However, one thing that is, does support Frost dying is the fact that no one's seen Frost film publicly, where if there was ever a scene with the Flash, a lot of the time you would see Frost there as well because she's the other like action-based meta. So it always... And she hasn't been seen since, I think, episode 13, this coming episode. So... I don't think that's a spoiler. That's just me theorizing based off what we've seen because it hasn't been spoiled with like who actually dies, but I'm just sort of trying to connect the dots and use what evidence is available to pick who it is. However, there is the possibility it could be a massive mislead and it's someone else because the show itself is pushing Caitlin and Frost in our faces and going, it's going to be one of these. It's going to be one of these. Pick one. So it could be a massive mislead. I have no idea. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. My pick's Frost. I think most of your guys' pick will be Frost because that's what I was saying online is that most people are saying Frost now. But we'll have to wait and find out. The mystery continues. Unfortunately, no premiere images as of now. If they do come out and they are worth talking about and they're interesting, I'll do a video on them or include them in another video because some other uh, Flash information actually came out like right as the episode ended. So there'll be a video on that alongside that Eddie Theory video as well. So there'll be a couple of bonus videos this weekend for you guys to watch. So hopefully you are looking forward to them. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like on it, show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions, theories, predictions, all that stuff. Always looking forward to seeing what you guys are, you know, what you're saying, what you're looking forward to and all that. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. And goodbye.